Race three, it's the United House Handicap Gold Cut Chase. And this is where all the big boys come out for this our third and final race here from Ascot on day one. So the three miles. So Silver Dollar C for Leon Van Rensburg. Belmore Stone for Pontypool Racing. Lost on the way for Joshua Sutherland. Highlander Montessor for David Robertson. Nashville Spicebird for Vinnie Gerrard. Time to Shine for Craig Allen. Better Bob Irish for David Robertson. Dawn of the Warrior for Joshua Sutherland. Flintoff Wedding for James Shea. Elusive Enchantment for Jim Murray, Japanese Blonde Leon Van Rensburg, Firm Brook for John Morgan, Magic Spell for Craig Beckwith, Nashville Ridley for Vinnie Gerrard, Rock on Susie Q for Pontypool Racing, Deep Dow for Darren Thompson, and Penny Arcade makes up 17 for Alex Cherry. To go over three miles here for this Group 3 handicap. See if they can win the United House. Start has got them away. Here in the mud, they get to the first plain one. Everybody gets over it. There's a fair few horses running sort of eight, nine wide already. And it's the great Fern Brook. John Morgan that's going to lead us, although taking a bit of a hold. We get to the second. Lead is over it. There's the remainder. Oh, a couple of mistakes towards the rear. Plenty of time to settle. And we're going to be led, led by Fern Brook. And Belmore Stone in second. And we get to this large ditch. And everybody's over it. Some of the big guns here, the top trainers have got their horses here. This three mile event. And Brook leads them into the fourth, takes it well. Shouldn't expect to see too many of these falling. And they've all come a bit mop handed as well. Leon's got two in here, Josh has got two in here. Uh, I think Craig, well, Craig's just got the one in here. Jim's just got one. But we're being still led by Fern Brook, the grey, and he's got a three length advantage away from Belmore Stone in second. There's a couple of lengths back to the chasing pack, which are just being led by Deep Down, Rock on Susie Q. I think uh, Lost on the Ways nose in there. The green silk's up against the fence. It's Flint off Wedding. Mistake there by Rock on Susie Q as she shuffles towards the rear of the pack as they go over the six. Why over that as well. And still Fern Brook has got a five length advantage now. Against the ditch, the seventh. Everybody's got over that as well. So they're all still standing on their feet here in the heavy conditions. See him streaming over the eight. So it's still firm, but from Belmore Stone lost on the way. Exclusive enchantment. And Dawn of the Warren deep down. Blue and yellow silks of Silver Dollar City. The green silks up against the fence. Red cap is flint off wedding. About a length away from Japanese blonde and magic spell. And the green silks further wider is Nashville Spice Bird. And they're followed through by Highlander Montessu. Not better Bob Irish, I can't say, as they go to the ninth. A little bit of a mistake by the leader, but he's still got the advantage. He's still leading by four to five. So we're going to come past the grandstand. It's firm book from Belmore Stone. And lost on the way. Flint off Wedding's moved up. So this will be the last next time round. We're halfway through the fences. Here it is, Fernbrook from Belmore Stone, lost on the way. Green Silks of Flintoff wedding out wider of that is Elusive Enchantment. Wider still is Japanese Blonde. It's Josh Southern's Dawn of the Warrior. And they're followed through by Deep Down Magic Spell. And we've got Silver Dollar City. I know Montesu, the grey against the fence. The outside of that is Rock on Susie Q. And Nashville Spice Burn is widest. Another David Robertson horse. Um, sorry, better Bob Irish. And then a couple of lengths back just to the rear, which have been in Nashville Ridley, Time to Shine, and Penny Arcade, I can't see. But Fernbrook's led them since the beginning. Still went over a mile and a quarter to go, and it's Fernbrook leads them into the 11, takes it well. Just as the rest, they're all over it. And still Fernbrook from Belmore Stone, lost on the way, Dawn on the, dawn on the Warrior, Dawn of the Warrior. Then uh, sneaking through there is Japanese Blonde. Oh, sister to GI. Oh, and we've lost one there. Nashville Ridley's gone. Slipped his jockey. Probably wasn't going to win from his position. But he's we're one down. We'll go over the 13th. We'll get over that. I'm just talking about uh, Japanese blonde. The full sister, the great GI Joe. There's one plenty before. we we'll go over the 14th. He's steady enough. And as I talk about Japanese blonde, went straight through the top of that. 
Fernbrook didn't get over it particularly well. well. Anyway, there's six fences to go, and it's still Fernbrook from Belmore Stone by a couple to Lost on the Way in Dawn of the Warrior out wine. And between those is elusive a charm. The magic spell is there. Flintoff wed in rock on Susie. And a length back to the Japanese blonde. And stable mount silver dollar sitting then Highland Mosso still up against the fence Deepdale having quite a comfortable run round hasn't been asked a lot and then the green silks of Nashville Spice Bird as everybody's over that and we've still got our lead up as we come inside the 6 and take the 16th so with 4 left to jump it's Fernbrook that's still got a 4 length advantage from moving well on the outside now is Dawn of the Warriors they're getting closer order to Challenger's leader so Fernbrook his lead's down to just 3 now with just over half a mile to go as they go over to three from home and it's Fernbrook but out of the pack comes Better Bob Irish from nowhere so it's Fernbrook and Better Bob Irish and it's Better Bob Irish that challenges the leader and they've got a three four length advantage from the rest they're all getting caught a little bit for toe here and starting to tread water but Fernbrook fights back again on the bend we're inside the final half mile and it's Fernbrook by a couple of lengths now as Better Bob Irish starts to drift back Fernbrook heads for home first as he comes down to the penultimate gets over it well as well as the chasing pack or jump there by the green socks of Nashville Slice Bird but it's still Fernbrook for John Morgan that's leading us inside the quarter mile now with just one to jump it's Fernbrook from Rock on Susie Q running on well Dawn of the Warrior on the outside lost on the ways come from nowhere are they going to catch this leader Fernbrook starts to tread water has a quick look round gets over the last still got plenty in his sack and it's Fernbrook that's starting to push away here comes Magic Spell we've not mentioned him at all but is he going to cut into Fernbrook's lead well maybe he is Fernbrook starting to tread water he's going up and down and going nowhere but it's Fernbrook that's just going to hang on to this from Mad good finishing magic spell Dawn of the Warriors third Lost on the Ways fourth Rock on Susie Q for fifth so a good win there from the all time lead up pillar post win for Fernbrook for John Morgan well done takes the United House handicap Gold Cup chase he didn't mention in the card and he thought he was on a good weight and he's won it from pillar to post Second was Magic Spell for Craig Beckwith, Dawn of the Warrior and Lost on the Way for Joshua Sutherland made third and fourth, and Rock on Susie Q for Pontypool Racing was fifth. Let's whiz over to Wincanton.